So I just realized that none of that was recording and that sucks. So I had my bread in my little basket over here and all I did was I put a piece of parchment over on top of it and I flipped it upside down onto um, a flat pan. And um, my bread had a whole lot of extra flour on it so I am just taking my pastry brush and I'm brushing it off. You don't have to do this. I just don't care to um, bite into a mouthful of flour when I'm eating my sandwich or toast or what have you. Anyway, so that's going here. Um, any chance you could hold my, my, my camera here, love? Okay. And it's recording, so I just need you to watch um, the bread. Trilly, you need to back up, honey. I'm opening the oven. Back up. Wait. Okay, I have my oven preheated to 500 here, and as soon as I put my um, bread in the oven, it's going to get turned down to Yay. 475, and I've got here, whoopsies, that'll happen sometimes. Oh, shoot. Ah, time is of the essence. Okay. Sometimes it goes in nicely. Sometimes it doesn't. This was one of the not so nice things. Okay, and then it's just good to um, cut the top if you've got a razor blade or a safety um, blade or any kind of box knife that's really sharp and food safe. Um, that'll work great. Um, I like to cut mine kind of deep because I like the um, the crispy crustiness that that pops up from underneath it. Um, there's some pretty cool patterns that you can find online for people who do this. Um, sometimes I get fancy with it. Sometimes I don't. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I like salt on top. You don't have to do that either. I've been told I've got a problem. <laughs> but it's all up to taste. So I'm going to put the lid on it. Stuff this into the oven. And turn my oven down to 475 and start a timer for 20 minutes. After that, I take the lid off and then bake it for another 20 minutes at 425. And then that's all done.